So JD, uh, a very slender 1 0 defeat here at Whitby, dominated the second half. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, first half was a bit end to end, changed a bit after Kev went off injured. But what did you make of the game? I thought that we got stronger and stronger as the game went on. I thought we took us a little bit of time to get the grips with how to play this formation against a different team playing a different style. Although, although they were only playing a 4 3 3, the three were a proper three up front. And playing with three centre halves and two wide men, it was whether the wide men were going to take them or take the full backs. Their, their full backs were getting a lot more of the ball. Midfield figured that out. Full, uh, our wing backs figured that out. And then after that, unfortunately, after Kev went off um, and we'd had, we had our water break, um, I think we got to grips with it a lot better and dealt with it really well. Um, just a, a word on Kev, have you heard anything? Is He's is just it... gone to hospital, um, he's felt a crack which didn't, and we've heard a crack which wasn't good. What, what the injury is, we, we're not really sure what that's going to be yet. Hoping all the best on that front. Um, second half again, gets to the thing, it, defend, it, defensively, that the back three did seem to really work. Uh, if I remember correctly, they didn't have their first shot in the second half till the 88th minute, so you must be very happy with that. I thought the second half performance was absolutely superb. How we've not scored probably three or four goals. I think we've missed a one-on-one -on -one with Sweetie. We've had a penalty saved. Addy's headed a clear, open header, free header wide, which he would normally score, or at least hit the target. Uh, Mikey's hit one just over the bar. Sweetie's hit one just over the bar. We probably could have scored five or six, really, and we probably had two or three other chances. We've had a lot of crosses, both wide men putting loads of balls, and it was it was just us, the second half. The only thing that we didn't do was we didn't put the ball in the back of there, mm. and um, that's a little disappointing, but I'm trying not to focus on that because the quality of the second half that, we, that we've just done there, there's five or six of the Whitby lads are, are laying on the backs, and our lads are springing around all over the place, which shows how, how fit we are and how much... How much we still had in the legs. I think we've played another 10 minutes, we've already scored another three. Uh, yeah, it just seems it's like one of those days in front of goals, isn't it? But it's good to get that out of the way in pre season. Yeah. Ahead of next week, of course. Yeah, first I think we've season. Had a, a fantastic pre season. I think we look, the formation that we've changed and it looks suits us. Um, and with Kev going off is, is, a, is a blow, but we didn't miss him after he went off, which is which shows how strong the rest of the lads were. Um, and like I said, we just got better and better, stronger and stronger. It would have been nice to score a couple, but um, all positive stuff there. Of course, uh, all starts next week, debut season in the Premier Division. Uh, we're at Leak Town. Do you feel prepared? Do you feel ready? Yeah, I think I think our squad's improved. I think our playing style is better. I think our fitness levels are really good. I think the positivity within the lads is excellent. I think we've got players that can play in different positions. I think we are looking as good as we can look ready to go into the season. So. Myself, Michael, uh, the coach and staff, um, are really happy with things. We've got a couple of injuries there. Obviously, whatever whatever it is that Kev's got is going to be a disappointment. We've got a couple of minor injuries that we're still working on. But the squad looks good and um, we're going to relish this season.